Well, hello, hello, hello. Today, instead of what did I get myself into Wednesday, this is going to be what do you do with scraps Wednesdays. So everybody will remember, or if you've been watching me, you'll remember that I made this card last week. But I saved, I made a point of saving the pieces onto press and seal for another card. Well, I'm back to show you this is the card I made with the, I'm sorry, with the extras. The leftovers so I went ahead and embed you know I cut a die cut out and then press them in and paper piece them back in it's a little bit of a labor of love it's easy I'm not gonna it's very simple but it is a little painstaking work so but it's enjoyable I, I do like I did enjoy it so I wanted to come back and show you guys what I did that yes definitely always save your scraps because you can do something with it. So I've already, I have already here, they're stuck together. I haven't tried to peel them apart yet. I'm not going to. I'll pull this top one and then, because I have, as always, I say, if I'm going to make one, what the heck, let's make, you know, two or three or four. So I did make four of the other cards and one of them was, got damaged. So we will only have three, but I'm only going to make one for you guys today. So I went ahead, I have my hearts here. I've got my card panels. Look, aren't you guys proud of me? I made them this time. So this is my, um, Hobby Lobby already cut uh, 10 by seven and a, uh, by seven. I need to still score it in half. And then I went ahead and die cut the pieces. The one thing I personally did not like about this card is that I use white underneath it, which is my habit. I just went into automatic mode. So now I cut them out of the scraps of the gray because I think it will look better. We'll see if that is true or not. Okay, guys. So let's, you know what? Let's get, go ahead and get started because I am limited on time I have. I'm trying to get this done before I have to start working. If not, then I'll have to take a break and come back. So let me very quickly, and I should have done this already because this is not rocket science, but I'm going to go ahead and score my two card bases because I do have to use them immediately because I'm going to apply first I have to die cut the heart out of it but I have to then up mount it onto the gray because that gives me my background and this is my lovely cutter pillar scoreboard hands down absolutely my favorite scoreboard ever 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 it's fairly new I will link you down below to where you can get it but oh my gosh, I got this on HSM because I took advantage of FlexPay. I love this thing. And it is meant to work with their um, glass, lit up glass mat. But I can see through this perfectly well. You can see in my regular mat. But I just really, really love it. And it has a little compartment here. Hopefully you can see this. The camera will capture it. If I can get the blessed thing open. Hello. There we go. And it has their little tool. I don't use it. I'm a creature of habit. I use my, you know, 100-year-old bone, you know, bone folder that I use now only for scoring because I have now a Teflon one that I use for, for folding, which I'll give me a second. Let me put this, pull this out of the way. And that was your, your product. <laughs> Whatever you want to tell you, hey, I really love this thing, but this is just because I really do love it. But let me go ahead now and fold the card. And this is my little Teflon. Oh, see, it's a little out of alignment. Nothing is perfect. My Teflon bone folder, and I got this from Tonic, but everybody makes them. You know, you can take your pick as to which one you want to use. I bought this one because I bought it from a friend who had to close her store, but she now has these online hearts and crafts. So I always, when I can, I try to support, you know, the locals. We have to keep them, you know, going no matter how. So I went ahead and got this from her, but it is, if you're interested, it is Tonics Bone Folder, and you can get it at Hearts and Crafts, and I'll link you down below, okay? I also already have now my cut panels here for to cut out my hearts, and let me reach for my heart. There it is. And I did this one just like I did the other cards I did a couple of days ago. I'm probably going to go both ways and change up the side on where I put the heart. I could put it in the middle. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Flat out, that's the reason. I left my lovely little tape, which is probably not sticking very well. So let me not be chintzy. And oh, you know what? Let's see. Let's you know, let's experiment with this tape, with this new tape, and see. And hopefully, I don't waste a card space, a card, a card base. But let's try my new tape and see how that works. It's we're gonna give it a whirl immediately. And in case you haven't seen that video yet, I got this at Daiso. So very, very cool. I'm already, it's what I thought it was. I just didn't want to, well, I couldn't open it. That was the thing. I could not open it. 
So let me just center, more or less give it, I'm trying to give it as much space on the side as I am top and bottom so that there's some, in the asymmetry, there's some symmetry. Is that, is that an oxymoron? But let me just use, I'm just gonna put it down here and there. Okay, let me turn on. And let me get at my plates, which hang on, I have to, now I have to come back because I sent them flying, so I'll be right back. I just did want to put this down and I didn't think one thing I did not think and I have it right here pseudo I don't think this is big enough oh yes it is let me lift this up I and something like this especially when I really do want to pop out really easy is I lay down a piece of wax paper I have no intentions of saving the Chad from this election I'm just no I'm I'm done using for the moment my leftovers <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take that and I'll just tear this. It's this handy dandy wax paper that I put down between the die and the paper to have it pop out much faster. And let me put this, I'm gonna turn this right. And I'm waiting, I'm still waiting for this plate to break. I'm like, I, as you can tell, yeah, it's well loved. And wow, and it, but it's still chugging along. I'm, I'm like, I'm just waiting, I'm just giving it time. So let's run that through real quick. Through the junior. <clears throat> My gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me. My throat this morning. Other than seasonal allergies. I'm an, I am an allergy sufferer. And let me take a peek. Oh yeah. It looks good. So now. Let me pull that out. Put it away. Remote, you need to go in your place. I'm not watching television right now. And let's see, let's, aha, so see this, maybe, or maybe I'm just not, no, 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 never mind, no panic. It is peeling up, it's doing what I want it to do, although, wow, when you press it down, it does stick. So let's see, but, I'm doing this carefully, but it isn't damaging the paper. So as long as you're a little bit patient, it does work, it does work. So let's just do the same thing here. We'll peel this off carefully because a few seconds isn't going to kill us, guys. Let's be honest here. But it did hold the die in place. And I sometimes have had, you guys have seen it, where with the the, uh, the washi tape, it has moved. The, the die has moved on me once. So boop, there we go. Now let's pick up our lovely little wax paper. And then we could just peel off. Ah, here, a little backfire. I should, I knew there's a part of me that said, run it through twice, Meyer, run it through twice. Because it is not cut through all the way right here. So let me see, can I remount this? Let me see if I can move the tape. And let's see, because I'd rather just run it through a second time than grab scissors because I'm lazy that way yeah that's gonna there we go there we go so we'll put on our use this lovely reuse the tape and I think I'm gonna do more of it on the die and less on the paper because I know it's gonna hold but that way I have to peel less off it looks good right That's what I'm trying to make sure it lines up well. So where's that other piece right here? Okay, let's run it through one more time. And see if that will now take care of the offending, misbehaving center of the die. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see, did it cut? Let me look real quick. Of course, I'm back to wearing the wrong glasses. It will help. Ah, much better. But yes, it looks like this time it is all loose. So let's peel up the tape again. I don't care about it tearing at this point. It's inexpensive enough that I don't mind. Okay, here I There we go. That little piece didn't want to come up. Now... At this point, even if it doesn't cut all the way through, there we go. Beautiful. 
Sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to run it through twice. So there I have my lovely little gray panel. We're going to take all of this really quickly and send it to the trash or the floor. Some of it went to the floor. I'm flattening it just like the wrapper. Okay. So now I have this and I have my panel. So now I'm going to glue it all down. Whoops. Be careful with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it down and then come back in with my little nozzle glue and then just tack some of these little itty bits inside just because it's a little... A little, I don't know. It the glue, I didn't lift up, so the glue would actually be the easier option, the cheaper option, and might give me some schoolgirl room in putting this down. So let's go ahead and do it that way. Do I want to start from this end? I'm gonna start from. I usually start from the left side. So let's go ahead. I'm using my barely. Art glue, which is right now my favorite, favorite glue in the world because it's just, it just is a great glue. It truly is. I mean, you know, glue is glue in the grand scheme of things, but it does also give me more schoolgirl time. And that's what I'm looking for, you know, me and my technical terms. Schoolgirl means it just gives me a little bit more time to lay down and move it into place if I don't get it centered on the first whack. So let me just put it all down here. And I want to work quickly because. The longer I take doing this, the less schedule time I have. Okay, and I'm gonna try going a little bit closer there. So there we go, let's pick it up. Piece of paper there. And let's just, I always I'll start in one corner. And here's my scheduling, it's like it's moving. I'm like, stop it, don't do that. I'm gonna actually, what I wanna do is start from the top. So it is lined up at the top. Cause I can always, if it, whatever it is, it's not the same measurement for whatever reason I can go ahead and just trim it off the bottom and there so I just start from one end and press it down and then I just gingerly work my way across and see we have see it doesn't meet up hmm so now I'm just going to trim that little piece off right there but I can trim that and fix it so that's exactly why I start at one end but it gave me the schedule time I needed and I missed it right here Oh, but I still I got it. So now, and you can see I have a bubble. It's a balloon. No. So let me put, hang on, before I do anything, let me make sure I keep this from clogging by putting in my really cute sparkly bottle stopper. Then, oh my goodness, in this bottle, sometimes it's a trick to get it. There we go, all the way down. But now I'm going to grab my smaller glue. And this is, I have it filled up with reptile glue, which is a fat, it's just an equally good, really great glue but it just glues fast it dries faster and now i'm going to put little spots heat you know everywhere to now get all of these little pieces tamed back down and just what happened is the paper warped a bit in the die cutting process because the gemini really has some very serious pressure to it which is why it usually cuts in one pass really is i really love it as a die cutter it doesn't mean i don't use i mean i still have my big shot still use it because i know the gemini is meant to also work with their embossing folders because hello crafters companion makes embossing cutting folders uh or the three deers i just have yet to master it getting to work for me i have to find the the perfect sandwich and it just hasn't happened yet don't underestimate me it will happen but I just want to take a little bit, a few, you know, a couple of minutes here and hold this down because it'll make the paper piecing itself go a little bit faster. I'll lift that up. I just don't want to lift and then bend the paper. And then we'll put this down right here. I swear it's almost like the paper stretches, which I'm, I'm not surprised that that would be the case. Because again, the precious, pressure is pretty hellacious. There we go. Like right there, see, we're going to have, it's, see, I think it is, it's almost like acting like as if it is stretched. We'll see when it, not because it seems like fits there. We just have to patiently go through here and glue this down as you watch me chatter or listen to me chatter. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't have a lot to say. I mean, I do, I keep talking. It's like, you know, blabbering, but it's early in the morning, so it's not like I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Intelligent yet.
It's like you're asking for a lot for me at this hour of the morning. It's a miracle I'm awake. And that's only because I went to bed earlier. And that was, you know, my husband says, you look tired. Why don't you just go to bed early? And that was about 11 o'clock. And I go, no, I only sleep six hours a night, period. End of statement, people. If I go to bed at four o'clock, you know, or excuse me, let me take this back. If I go to sleep at like 10 or 11, I'm up at four or 5 a.m. I don't want to be. I really do not know. I don't want to be up when it's still dark. That's just anathema. When the, when I my eyes pop peek, open at six this morning, six fifteen, because I did go to bed. I you know I ended up going to bed at midnight. I I was just like ugh ha, ah! but I said no. But I knew I wanted to do this, so I'm like you know my I'm gonna get up. I immediately you know hit feet the ground. I knew what I wanted to do. Maybe not as inspired as I was the other day with that card, but I knew what I wanted to do and I knew I needed to get it done. So now we are ready. I'm actually, no, I, we are ready to paper piece, but I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to put my love pieces together first. And then we will go away because I already pre-cut those out. I used, this is from uh, Elizabeth Craft. It is their love. It is sold out on her website, but I still gave you the die number and everything to see where, if you can find it elsewhere. But right now it truly is sold out. Don't hate me. I bought these. I've had these, I think, for a while. I bought them in one of her sales. So on um, both of these, I still have the wax paper from when I cut it out where it is. I'm looking for my adhesive because that would be my fastest way. But if not, then I'm going to grab my little picker. And all I got to do is rub it. There we go. See, if I rub it, eventually it tacks and picks up. And I can peel off the wax paper. I wish it was a use for that wax paper. There's a part of me that says, Myra, you need to do something with them. And then the rest of me, because it's just so flimsy, says, no, don't do it. Don't go there. Quit while you're ahead. Stop. So I did just like this one, but I'm going to try now with the gray and see if that works. If I like the effect better, that it matches the background paper. I think I will. I just don't know. It just bothers me. The, of course, the person who gets this, you know, they may not ever know. And we won't tell them. They don't know. And again, if they make a comment about it and don't like it, I will just punch them in the nose. And then take my card back. And they will never get a card again from me. All right. Let me wear my tweezers. Oh, wait. Where are the new tweezers? There we go. Let's try. Let's. We're going to give us a whirl. The maiden voyage of the new tweezers. Because I just pick up. This is how I pick up and put glue. I know there's a lot of people go out there and take painstakingly write on these. No, I am just, I don't have the patience. I don't have the skill. That's more, I'm going to admit, I just don't have that kind of a skill. So I just put a puddle of glue down and it, and it works. It, it does work. And now let's layer this puppy up. Let's get this put together. Very carefully. Here's the always the tricky part is to get it all lined up. Ooh, this one worked be better. I had I struggled with that white one. I really did. So this one is definitely I was I, I'm more coordinated now. Amazingly enough, at this hour of the morning with no caffeine on board. That's the disclaimer, guys. No caffeine. So am I? Let me see. What time is it? Oh, I still have three minutes before I'm supposed to be logging in. That will at least get me through the love. <laughs> All right, guys, let me now, let me make, increase my puddle and make it a little bit. I should have, I think that's, you know, the more wetter, even though it wastes a little bit of glue, I'm okay with that. I've had this glue now for, I forget how many months. I'm on barely refilling it for the first time. And my refill bottle has at least two or probably two more fills in it. So it lasts a while. So I'm okay with being a little wasteful in a moment like this. Just so that I have, you know, because the wetter the glue, the more playtime I have with it. Let me, there we go. So, so far, I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. So far, so good with these tweezers. They're a little, I think they're a little stiffer than my other ones. I noticed that. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but they are. But if nothing else, it gives me a spare pair. And that's important because I have a tendency of misplacing stuff. Now, let me get it off my mat before I glue it down off my mat. Hello. And now, oops, no, you're not going there. Let's just lay it down. Okay, I give up on the tweezers. I'm gonna use my hands because I have opposable thumbs. And now let's just lay this down and get this lined up. There we go. I use it to get into these smaller spaces. So once I get it 
start it in one spot, everything. Your point is when you're doing something like this is get one spot stabilized and well lined up and then everything else will come together. Yes, yeah, see, this one came together much better, much easier. I like it. Let me grab now. I'm sorry. There we go. My industrial size thing of wipes. This thing has lasted me a long time. My husband actually brought this for me, you know, from his store. And I've had it since the pandemic started last year. I will say I've been, you know, because remember, for the longest time, we could not, you know, nobody, you could not get the sanitizing alcohol wipes for love or money. So I, uh, I've treated that canister like gold. Now I have a store. I have about that one. I only have one, but of the Clorox bleachy wipes, which are my favorite, I have about four bottles now saved, you know, just waiting there because I didn't, I'm not going to get caught off guard again. I think really, honestly, we're, we're not going to see another horrendous shutdown run, you know, but people get crazy. I mean, we've already run into the toilet paper thing a couple of times since then, because it's like, I don't know, you can see the numbers go up and pe immediately people pack it, you know, you know, go nuts. But there we go. So we have our love. That was enough blither blathering for me. I just want to lay it down on my card back to see. I do like it. I, I think it makes, to my eyes, it makes a difference. I don't know. We'll see better once I paper piece that in. So that's what I'm going to come back and do next is I'm going to start the paper piecing. But I'm not going to do that live because you and I will be here for an hour. Me piecing that together. So I will do it and just and, and just speed it up for you. All right. So I'll be right back.
well, okay, I finished. So I'm glad I didn't do that live because that was all about 15 minutes of painstaking work. Although really not that long in the grand scheme of things, but you did not need to see this. Um, so you saw that I literally, for some of these pieces, they just got lost. They just flew or whatever. So fortunately for me, I was able to steal from Peter to pay Paul to finish this card. But I will have to go back and I'll just do little tiny partial cuts to get those little, you know, with the little pieces of scraps I have the, of the glitter pink to replace it so I can do the other two cards and fill them all in because darn, I'm not going to have all of these and then not finish the cards. That's too, that's, I'm too close to finishing. Now, what I did want you to show you, and I have three of these already put together, two others. I chose to do the one for you guys with the little flub. Can you see that? That is where something, a, a speck fell on it and I tried to erase it with the, uh, my adhesive eraser and it worked except that I also erased a piece of the paper away, which is why you see that hole. So now I have a problem. I have a hole. That is just, I mean, and it just screams at you. Here I am, here I am. So what do we do? We solve the problem with our brand spanking new little punches that I just got at Daiso. Isn't this just a miracle? Whoa! I can now fix it. So I put using scraps of the pink, I punched out. I have a little pile of hearts here because I'll probably on purpose now scatter them on the card. But now... I have the solution to my crisis. I am just going to go and put a little, you know, glup of, of glue there, very technical term. I'm going to grab my lovely little heart and I'm just going to bloop. And there we go. Problem solved. Crisis averted. The crowd goes wild. <sighs> yeah, right. I know. I'm crazy. But now, but again, we always do things in odd numbers. You know, it's the rule of three, so to speak. So I, I grabbed a couple of more hearts and I'm just going to spread them out. So I think I decided I was going to put one here and I'm going to put that little one, the little itty bitty guy here. And we'll just do, and I'm just doing this kind of cattywampus, not, you know, straight up or any, just, you know, kind of whatever makes me happy and, um, leave it at that. And then I will, I also grabbed, I went ahead. I still have, I have two more of these and I was going to die cut a third one to do the other card, except this has gone AWOL. It's somewhere lost on my desk here. I have no idea. So rather than flip myself out and empty the desk, because I know it will turn up, I just grabbed my other love here that I had. And this is the one from Hero Arts. And also I'll link you both down below because I did use them both. And I'm going to use that. So I die cut three, one, two in gray in the mat and the gray that matches this, and then one in the pink. So I'm just going to, for the moment, just lay that there so I can figure out where I want to put my big pink one. So let's just grab that. And it sounds like this. I think this is as good a place as any. So let's see if I can get this. Let me clean it. Oh, look. No, see, I knew it. Never mind. I don't need to be that crazy. And as I send the bottle of glue also flying, but we're going to go ahead and just, you know, put a little speck of glue there. And I'm just going to glue down my little heart there. And, and there you have it. So now the only thing that is left is to glue this love down so this one contrary to what i tend to do i'm going to go ahead and just because this is wide enough i'm just going to go ahead and draw and write on it you know put the glue straight on it i don't normally do this you guys know i just make my little messes of, of glue on my glass and go from there but i think i can afford the 30 seconds this is going to take and just do this just because i don't know i want to so let's just go ahead and let me grab this real carefully let me take a second okay I should have grabbed that this way from the start and it would have made it easier. But we'll just apply my glue right there to the back of it and then twine it over carefully and then just lay it down right there in my corner. That makes me happy. I'm blowing away cat hair because, you know, as always, heaven forbid, there not be cat hair somewhere on the card or under the card or glued in in some way. It's like quite a bit, actually. Holy cow. And I saw, and it's so funny, my husband and I saw a sign when we were at Hobby Lobby yesterday, and it said, um, cat hair, uh, those who know us know, or something along the lines that cat hair is part of the decor. So I think it was like an information, it was really, really cute. We were sorely tempted to, to buy it because that is true. I mean, there's cat hair here all over, no matter how much I try to vacuum. Anyway, having said that, enough chatter. Here you go, guys. So this is what happens. This is what you do with your leftovers you do another card or an additional card 
So I, you know, it's not like the end all be all. It's not earth shattering. It's not a work of art. Ah! You know, it, but I really like it. So really, let me take this back because I say that tongue in cheek, but really what we do, don't ever let anybody make you think that, oh, I'm just crafty. I like to make cards. No, this is art. What we do is art. We're being creative and we take a bunch of materials as pieces of paper and we make something beautiful out of it. So let's, you know, so let's be, you know, own up to it, own what you do. So this is art. So this is my art. There you have it. Now I have an extra card use, using the extra pieces left from this really pretty glitter that I did not want to go to waste. I mean, even the love and the hearts were all cut out of the extra pieces that I cut that were left from the paper. So there you have it. I honestly hope that you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Come and say hi or anything, guys. I live to see comments from you. Um, and otherwise, if you like what you saw, you want to see more of my insanity, my madness, by all means, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I'm back on. And otherwise, guys, just remember, uh, we're all a little mad here. So go ahead, scrap the madness, and I will see you at the next one, okay? Bye.